Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is, uh, the date's not showing the, oh, I minimized the, okay, so it just shows the time. This is December 7th of, not 1941, it's December 7th of 2017. December 7th was, uh, 1941 was when Japan attacked Pearl Harbor, and for the United States, World War II started. Uh, we declared war on Japan, and uh, Hitler made a little bit of a mistake. Well, he made a big mistake. He, we probably would have ended up anyway, but uh, he declared war immediately on the United States, so we declared war back on him. Uh, but... So, December 1941, I was born in March of 1941. So, as you can see, I have uh, purchased the Panasonic G7. It uh, should be here tomorrow. And probably, I'm sure tomorrow I will be making, it's cold out today, by the way. Echo, what's the temperature? with mostly cloudy skies. Today, you can expect intermittent clouds with a high of 45 degrees and a low of 24 degrees. So I'm not sure what the weather is going to be tomorrow, I could ask, but um, I'm sure I'll be making some videos tomorrow with my new camera. Uh, Maybe a walking and talking video if it's not too cold, uh, too cold. I just can't. I worked all my life out in bad weather. Uh, I just can't take cold weather anymore. I can't. If the wind is blowing, I can't breathe. I just can't take cold weather anymore. Uh, but I will be making a walking talking video. I'll be surely making a video inside with the camera. There's a lot to learn with this camera. There are all types of uh, things you can do if you can learn how to do them. Uh, a lot of news here. Uh, there's always stuff going on in everybody's life and there's always stuff going on in my life. And uh, as, as I've told you before and as some of you know, I've been extremely open about my life with uh, being online since 1982. I got my first computer in 1978, uh, was online starting in 1982, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I was one of the first people in the world to be sending live streaming video before YouTube, before Google, before all of, you know, uh, and been very open about my life. Uh, but my family really does not want any information given, really, they want to be, they want to be private. It makes it difficult for me as a blogger, you know, you may wonder why I pulled all my hair, you know, I should have a full, I, I, you may wonder why did I pull all my hair out, and uh, you may wonder why I'm depressed sometimes, or or whatever, so it's difficult because I really want to respect my family's uh, preferences for privacy. And this, I'm gonna make a little exception in this case. Uh, a couple days ago at 9 p.m., my daughter lives a few blocks away from here, uh, grown daughter, and uh, she walked over to Kroger's at 9 p.m. and in the parking lot, uh, she was attacked, uh, hit in the face with somebody wearing a ring or something, and knocked to the ground. And uh, they took her billfold, her cell phone, her keys, what else? And uh, anyway, she did not 
report it to the police. That's a long story. I can't, you know, there's no warrants for arrest or anything like that. But I mean, I, uh, that's a long story with, with her. Uh, she did not report it to the police. Um, oh, they took her cell phone also. So uh, I loaned her my cell phone until she could get another one. She, the next day, well, that'd be today, that'd be today. She went to where the attack took place, and uh, very close by, she found her keys. And then, which I totally did not think about, she, uh, today, went to Google. This is not her location, but my location. She went to Google Find My Device, and... Uh, located her cell phone and using my cell phone using you know uh, she was able to ring her cell phone and she found her cell phone and she found her billfold minus the money so uh, she well, so she'd borrowed my cell phone for a day so she brought it back and I needed it back today in order to do my pacemaker thing but I thought I was I just told her to keep the, my cell phone but she found her cell phone by you know she was able to ring it and hear it and uh, so anyway she left and went to the bank and she's going to um, turn off her cards bank cards or whatever for security purposes although they were there but they could have copied that I think my experience with this type of thing is they take money and then they dispose of something right away I Spent 30 years working hospital security and somebody would have a purse or a billfold or something like that and people would steal it and immediately the closest trash can, they'd take the money out and the closest trash can, they would throw the purse or billfold or whatever in there. So anyway, she recovered on her own. Her I had told her well, when she said she was going to go, well, she told me she found her keys and then she said she was going to go uh, track her and I said well I'll go with you and uh, of course what she should have done is notified the police immediately but uh, so that's a little bit of what's been going on. well my ex-wife who lives with me we share and my grown son but we're all sharing the expenses here because uh, I'm on a limited income and prices keep, the rent keeps going up. Everything just keeps going up every year. So my uh, grown son, he's 40. He's very computer illiterate. Uh, he has a two-year, he has a two-year degree, no. Well, he has a degree in uh, computer and electronics. Not that he uses it, in, but he has a degree in it, and he's very uh, computer literate. Uh, and I am. And my ex-wife on her computer, she just won't listen to. She clicks on everything. I've told her about viruses and all that type of stuff. She just... Uh, she has her interest, and her interests are not uh, in security protection or uh, that type of thing at all. So from time to time, her computer gets messed up, and it got messed up again. Uh, this time, my son, it wouldn't format properly, you know, with with Windows uh, this time. He, so I don't know what's, I don't know if it's a mechanical problem that she is not responsible for or if it's some type of virus or something that she put on that corrupted the system or whatever. But so I gave her my uh, Chrome box, which I upgraded to eight gigabytes of memory, way more than you need for a Chrome box. 
Now, this is not a chrome book. This is a chrome box. Gave that to her. And uh, in the past, she used my chrome, when she wasn't feeling well, my chrome book a few times, and she doesn't like doesn't like chrome, uh, the chrome book or the chrome box. I don't. I gave the chrome book uh, away to uh, one of my sons. He needed it. Uh, but anyway, I had the chrome box, gave it to her. And uh, now I have to convince her she doesn't want to spend the time, you know, she'll complain about it. And then I'll say, well, what, you know, we need to do is, okay, we'll f figure this out, you know, what you what you have to do or whatever. And she's not interested in spending the time, just wants to complain about the thing. But anyway, I set her up with the Chrome box and intended, of course, I uh, reset it to factory. And uh, set it up for her. But, man, I tell you, life is so... I uh, couldn't set her up. She doesn't have a Google account. So, uh, but anyway, he's going to set her up with one because she, with you have to have it for a Chromebook, Chromebox. And uh, then I couldn't do it. I couldn't give her. Couldn't get her a Google account because I didn't have my cell phone because they want a number that they can uh, connect it to. So well, anyway, my cell phone is back. My daughter doesn't need it now, so I'm gonna go in later and, uh, oh yeah, what I did. So when I had to set it up and use my account to get her uh, so she could do some stuff I went into the settings. I thought I was smart. I went into the settings and uh, told it not to, for Chrome, not to uh, sync anything for the well for the Chrome operating system to, for the book for the computer, not to sync anything. And I went through and checked off. Made everything was checked off that I didn't was not to so. Then I uh, set her up and she got down, at the, she was at the computer and then all of a sudden she said, what's going on? And I don't know if you can see up here at the top, I have all this stuff on, uh, you know, Chrome thing turned on for uh, LastPass, uh, Black Menu for Google, uh, Ad Blocker Plus, uh, Google Drive—I mean, just everything turned, you know, turned on, set up. So immediately, since she was using the Chrome operating system, and my name, every all this stuff was loaded you know, onto it. I forgot about that. I forgot about telling the Chrome operating system do not sync with anything else. So I'm going to be going in there. In a little while, and getting her a uh, Google account, and then yeah, I do know about the guest, the guest thing that you can have. So anyway, that's what's going on here today. Um, like I said, tomorrow's a big day. This I've had cameras since I was in grade school. Always interested in photography, interested in black and white photography and interested in uh, not using a flash device of any kind ever, available light photography only. And actually, uh, so I've had ca cameras and I always end up giving my cameras to my kids or family as I wanted to move on to a new one. Uh, So I've gone through a lot of cameras. If I hadn't had somebody to give one to, I wouldn't have had an excuse to get, you know, to get a new one. Uh, 
So this will be the nicest camera I've ever had, and it'll be the most powerful camera I've ever had. And the cameras that I have now, I haven't learned even the really, you know, just the basics of the uh, the cameras. Have, I just, like I told you, I think in a video yesterday or the day before, I don't uh, apply, I'm lazy. I don't apply myself when it comes to, uh, now not when it came came to working. I worked all my life, never without a job, worked two jobs. When I went in and did a job, I went in and did the job they were paying me. If the people I was working with didn't do their job, I would, you know, I would do, I'd do their job too. I didn't, I was there for eight or 12 hours and I was being paid and I did my job always. But when it came to being at home and like learning to use Photoshop or doing anything, it, the programs that I use, like well, Photoshop or uh, Adobe Photoshop or Adobe, uh, whatever the programs that I would, I always went with a simple program if I could find it, but if I had to use, I wasn't about to go uh, learn how to, like my grandson, my, he lived with me for years here and uh, he's 26 or 7 I think now and there was times I wanted something you know, I'd say how can I on an image you know doing a picture something beyond uh, resizing or uh, cropping or whatever anything beyond that and I and then he'd sit down he didn't want to spend he didn't want to take time away from his games but it was, Sometimes he would sit down and he would just <laughs> the stuff you see people on doing YouTube videos. I've tried to watch some of those YouTube videos where somebody is going to show show you how to do something. I can't, you know, what, you know. So, but with this camera that I'm getting, I'm going to try. I know I won't be going to the advanced X. Well, maybe I'll go into the advanced. I will not be going to the expert level, but I do want to use some of the, uh, by the way, this, the, the kit lens that comes with it, it uses interchangeable lenses, is a uh, 14 to 42. So when I, tomorrow, I make my video, you're probably going to notice it's going to be much less area than, uh, than here, I think. It's going to be more up close and personal, oh God. Uh, but I think I can take, I'll be able to take out the background if I want to make the background, you know, to kind of disappear. Um, the other thing I'll be able to do, which I need, is to use like the beauty filter or whatever to uh, make me look a little bit younger, stuff like that. So I'm going to be playing with that stuff and I'll sort of tell you, I'm not going to do a review on it because, like I said the last few videos, the people on YouTube uh, make fantastic, you know, reviews. Uh, but I'm just going to tell you what I'm doing and what works for me and that. So, anyway, tomorrow some new video from me and... I'm really looking forward to this camera. Like I said, it's uh, uh, the best camera I've ever, ever had. I mentioned once or twice in uh, a video here, the first time I saw a digital camera, I had a friend, we worked at the same hospital together, and uh, when he started working there, he was oh, an Apple fanatic. And of course, I was a PC person. And we discussed computers and uh, debated some stuff. And uh, eventually he became, uh, Apple did a way, he had invested, he bought Apple software that was expensive. When they would do an upgrade, he would get the upgrade. Uh, he was a lot different than me when, if there was something, a little problem, he would work that problem until he solved it. If it took a month, six months, eventually he would solve the problem. I tried to get him to, you know, just do a, do a blog himself or 
post something on my blog just uh, because of the fact that he would solve these problems. I mean, there were other people, I'm sure, but he, very private person. And, uh, but uh, anyway, we would discuss politics and we discussed computers and he'd come over to my place uh, once or twice a month and we would talk computers and unfortunately politics and uh, we did not agree politically. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, this one time he came over and he said, oh, I've got a digital camera. I said, I did, I, and I really did not know. Uh, I'm not sure how much I knew. I didn't know very much. I'd never seen one. Never had my hands on one. I really did not because I think the price was like $2,000 or something. It was astronomical to me. And uh, so he pulled it out and handed it to me or whatever. And I go, wow. And I, you know, what did that cost? You know, and he told me, oh, man. And, uh, and of course, the price came down a lot on digital cameras. And I love digital cameras. Although if I had to, my rosebud would be, as far as, so far as cameras go, my... Uh, twin lens reflex camera. Oh, I love that camera and the pictures that it took. You know, really with the fold-out lens and what have you, I can, I haven't really done that. I could sort of get back to the, uh, get back to that. I just love that camera. Took 120 film or uh, 220. I mean, you, you could choose. I forget now how you made the, whether you just loaded or you flipped a little spring or I can't remember now what you did with it. But uh, as you see, I don't put stuff up on the walls. I don't have shelves with things or whatever. If I did, I might get that one. I would uh, put some shelving behind me and uh, I'd set a twin lens reflex camera up, up there behind me. And maybe a Radio Shack Model 1 computer, too. Actually, they, they wouldn't have to work. I just, you know. And a Commodore 64. Well, there wouldn't be room for all the computers I've had. But I wouldn't want all the computers. Well, wait, I, I might, too. The Radio Shack's portable computer, the Model 100. Wouldn't be room for a Tandy 2000. I own two of those. Anyway. Uh, let me bring this to a conclusion. Uh, well, let's check the news. Now, let's not do that. Uh, thank you very much for watching.